Greetings, everyone. This is Chef B. Welcome to One Wednesday Wellness. Um, I just wanted to jump on today and share with you um, a really quick recipe from Guyana. Um, I actually recently went to Guyana to visit some family and um, just excited to get out the house, get out the country and wanted to just share a little something that's ours with you all. So um, greetings, where, let's see, where we rise and shine and Galati, hello, hello, hello. Um, saying hi, I'm giving you waves. Tell me where you're from. So as you jump on, just share what city you're representing. As you know, I'm in ATL and um, I also represent New York, I represent Guyana and I also represent New York. So please um, just share with us as you jump on what city you represent. Today, what we'll be doing is just making a real quick breakfast dish that they typically make in Guyana. So one of the things that I like to do when I go to Guyana is I like to go to the market. I'll go to an open air market um, or just really the grocery store there. And you typically find some really nice um, ingredients that I like to take back with me, bring back with me because it's just a different level of flavor. And one of the things that I got while I was there, I wanted to show you this, this is banana flour. You see that? And then I also got this, which is plantain flour. All right, so you're like, well, what are we gonna do with this today? Well, we are going to be making today some porridge. All right, we're gonna be making porridge. Uh, one of the things that I like to do is, oh, okay, I see you. I'm in Delaware, originally from New York and live in ATL too. Oh, cool. So one of the things that you'll find when you go to places like the Caribbean, Jamaica, Guyana, um, these places, they do a lot of porridges, like a lot of teas, things that are um, gonna kind of fill you up and nourish you. And banana and plantain, this is green banana, by the way. So this is green banana, so it's not sweet, it's the green banana, and then the plantain flower are typically used to make porridges. Now porridges have a lot of nutrients and it also helps to bulk you up, all right? So this is typically used for children um, and really anybody, right? But like when you have a small child, you might give them some porridge um, before they go to bed or you know, early in the morning just to give them some nourishment and just to give them some heft, um, you know, just in terms of their food supply. So we're gonna actually make some porridge today. So I have here, and I'm gonna show you, I have a water boiling for us, right? So we have some water boiling. And let's see if I can turn this so you can see. Let me do that. Turn this so you can see the water boiling. There you go, so we got that. So we have the water boiling. Let's see who else is joining us. We have Lolo Love Affair. Hello. As you come on, I want you to just share what city you're representing. Represent. Because I want to know. So I'm going to actually bring this closer so you can see this. And like I said, we're making porridge. We're going Guyana style today. And we're making this porridge. So I've already heated up some water so this water has been like simmering and stuff like that right it's been simmering and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in we're gonna add in some of this plantain flour okay so we're gonna do that and this is what it looks like that's the plantain flour right and so I'm gonna add in maybe about um, this is a third of a cup. I'm gonna add in about a third of a cup of this. I'm gonna just do that, okay? So we got the plantain flour in. All right, we got the plantain flour in. And you know, I'll say this, one of the reasons why I like to go you know, home is to really kind of see like what's, what's trending, right? Like what's, What's good? What can I bring into my routine that I don't have that really helps me to connect to my ancestral ways? You know, it's really about that. It's about connecting to 
some of the good things that your ancestry offers, right? So not everything is good. Some of the old ways that we have aren't always healthy and productive. But what other things could I be bringing into my my repertoire that is, is you know, um, from home that I can really bring in that's going to help me to remember and help me to ground myself? So you got to look at food, too, as a, a tool to help us ground. And so now what I'm putting in here is my banana flower. All right. So food is... It's a tool, y'all. It's a tool to help us remember who we are and from where we come, right? So let me say this. With this dish, you know, we have this in. Whenever you put in flour and water like this, what you want to do is you want to whisk everything together, right? So we're whisking and we're moving this. You're moving this because if you don't move it, it's going to get all, it's going to get all thick and clumpy and we don't want that, okay? So we're adding this in, right? We're adding this in. And then while we're adding this in, the other thing that I'm gonna add in here is um, some some old almond flour, okay? So I'm gonna add in some almond flour. So once again, I did like about a third of a cup of banana flour, a third of a cup of plantain flour, and now we're gonna add in a third of a cup of, of um, almond flour. And once again, this is all about remembering. We're making porridge today, right? In places like Jamaica, they call this bomb. In places like Jamaica, they call this bomb. And it is um, a staple item. This is what people drink in the morning. So when I was in Guyana, one of the things that you can do is you can go to a place. Um, there's a, a gentleman, he's a, a Rasta. And he basically has like a, a stand where you can buy food. And you, you should see how this is already coming together. It's already gorgeous. Um, and people buy porridge from him. So we're just whisking it all together. Now we have all of those ingredients. And now what I'm gonna add in here is I'm gonna add in a little bit of nutmeg. So in Guyana and the Caribbean, you have these spices. You have these beautiful spices that people add to their food. It gives it a really beautiful flavor. Um, this is also like a pumpkin pie spice. So this is a combination of some other things, cinnamon and some other good stuff. Okay, so we're gonna put that here. And then we're gonna continue whisking. So the, the key with bam or porridge is to keep whisking, okay? You keep moving it. And as you move it, what happens is it just gets thicker and lovelier and silkier. So I'm just adding things as we go. What, what city are you representing? Some of you who are joining, I know that we have someone who's from Delaware who's on here. Where else are you representing? Hmm? Where else are you representing? So y'all know I love to cook. And I am um, a plant-based chef, a health coach. I really work with people to get excited in the kitchen again, particularly if that's something that you lost. You lost your mojo in the kitchen. I help people to bring their mojo back <laughs> in the kitchen. And I also have health coaching services and meal prep services. So if you are someone, you live in Atlanta, and you, you want to learn just some cool things in the kitchen, you know, please, you know, I would love to chat with you about that. For those of you who are joining, hello, hello, hello. Today we're making breakfast, Guyanese style. We're making porridge, you know, or bomb. If I'm in Jamaica, we call this bomb. If I'm in Guyana, we call it porridge. And I want to show you real quick what's happening here. You see that? It's getting nice and thick. Look at that. It's getting thick. It's beautiful. All right, so those of you who are coming on, just tell us where you're from. Tell us what city you're representing. And also, in addition to those things that I've added to this, this is banana flour that we've added. We've also added in some almond flour. And then we also added some plantain flour. All right, so I got all of these things from, or really the plantain flour and the banana flour. I got this when I was in Guyana a couple weeks ago. We're gonna also add in some coconut shavings, right? There's a lot of great flavors of 
in the Caribbean of coconut. So we add in a third of everything, a third of a cup of banana flour, a third of a cup of plantain flour, a third of a cup of almond flour, a third of a cup of coconut flour. So those, those uh, four so far. And we've also added in some nutmeg. We've added in some pumpkin pie spice. And we're just using a whisk. You cannot use a spoon with this. You gotta use a whisk. And the reason why we use the whisk is so that we can really um, just bring everything together, okay? So y'all, let me tell you about some of the things that's coming up while we do this. So as I mentioned to you all, you know, I help people to get, to fall back in love with cooking. You know, we have a culinary program called Healing Me First, cook plant-based with essential oils. And we, we have a lot of great folks coming in and, and learning how to prepare food because really like this is one of the important medicines that we can have in our life, right? I'm also gonna add in some honey, just so you know. And so we have a new cohort coming up in June and it's a six month program. You cook live with me, you get some health coaching that's a part of that experience. And you have this amazing community of people that you can uh, cook with, all right? And learn from and you know develop with over a six month period. Because a lot of us have really moved away from cooking. A lot of us has moved away from really healing ourselves through the food. And it's really a great opportunity for you guys to reclaim that because really, if you are outsourcing all of your food and you have somebody who is making all of your food and it's not you, that is a problem. You know, I'm not saying that you should not be out there going out there, you know, getting food from whomever. But really what you want to do is you really want to think about you really want to think about where you're getting your food and then you also want to think about you know why you're not making your own food like what's blocking you from doing that because really that's where the healing is. And you know, I'll say this for me like I've always always enjoyed eating food from home. You know, my mom again we're from another country so we didn't have the opportunities to just go out and eat as readily available as they are now. Like we basically didn't have money like that. So we constantly cooked, you know, I grew up with my mama cooking. And then she also taught me how to make things cause I was a latchkey kid. Just so you know, I was a latchkey kid. If you don't know what a latchkey kid means, it just means that your mama worked all the time. You had a key to get inside the house. And then when she was there, that was it. You couldn't leave because she was scared that somebody somebody's gonna get you or something's gonna happen to you. So I don't know if you have any latchkey kids out here, but I was a latchkey kid. And with that, you know, my mom taught me a lot of stuff. She taught me how to do a lot of things. So I know how to make just about everything. I know how to make meat, pork, fish, shrimp, everything. I just choose not to make those things because, you know, some of those things are not made with the best integrity, right? So I just stick with plants because, you know, plants do, does the body good. It's just overall just the best thing that you could do for yourself. And so over the years, you know, I just have become the, the person in my community that people always come to when they want something as it relates to food. So I might be going home to visit my family and they're asking me to make food for them. Or I might be going to visit a friend and they might be asking me to make some food for them. And so I've become that person and I enjoy it because it's a way for me to nourish and nurture and love up on people. That's one of the things I enjoy doing. I love nurturing people with food. Let me taste this. This is nice. A little bit more um, honey, but it's like real, like beautiful. Um, it's very silky. I'm going to add a little bit of almond milk to this too. I'm going to add a little bit of almond milk. So we're just putting in some honey in this. This is um, wildflower honey. So whenever you're buying honey, one of the things that you want to do is you want to get honey that is local to your area. And so this wildflower honey is local to Georgia. So um, that's why I usually get it. You know, wildflowers grow here. And so you want to get that honey that's going to really support your immune system that's from the place that you're in. 
All right, so going back to what I was saying, yeah, I've always just been that person in the community where, you know, they always ask me to make food. Natasha, make some food. Natasha, make some food. Chef B, make some food. And so I really just love that um, that experience. And I wanted to share that experience with others. And that's why I designed, designed this program. Because there's so many of us out there that we're just not cooking. We're not taking care of ourselves through food. And so it's like, what you doing? You got to do this. All right, so this is almost done. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually gonna add a little bit of almond milk to this, and then we're gonna wrap it up. And then I'll plate it, and then I'll show you how we what, we, what we do. But this is like beautiful breakfast, simple breakfast, delicious breakfast, tasty, 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 and lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm gonna also add, I just thought about it, I'm gonna add something else. So I'm gonna add two more things. Let me show you, let me show you what I'm gonna add. So we're gonna add in some almond milk, right? So we're gonna add in some almond milk. All right, so I'm gonna add in maybe about, we're doing thirds. So I'm gonna add in two thirds of almond milk. Like that. Keep whisking. The key to this dish is to continue to whisk. Okay, so we are whisking. That's one. And then the second thing that I'm gonna add in here is some good vanilla. So this one, okay? So with the vanilla, I'm gonna add in just a little splash because you. this is really two splashes. How about that? And that is vanilla that's from Madagascar. So it's really strong stuff. Mmm, smells good. It smells really nice. So what is some, I'm curious for those of you who are out there, you know, I want you to think about some of your, the breakfasts that you have, the breakfasts that you have that, you know, you feel are healthy and nourishing Like what kind of breakfast items have been passed down to you that are nourishing? Like this is a nourishing dish. All right, you have, it's just made with water, it's made with almond milk, it's made with nutmegs, pumpkin pie spice, honey, plants and flour, almond flour, banana flour, that's it, and coconut shavings. Very, very nice, very, very nice breakfast dish. So for those of you who are out there, I really want you guys to start thinking about, you know, your foods and like what kinds of things are you eating? What kinds of things do you need support with as it relates to your eating? You know, we have the cooking program. We also have the plant-based meals to go, our essential meals to go business where you can, um, if you're in Atlanta, and we also do ship where you can get your meals already prepared for you. We offer three day, four day and five day plans. And so if you're one of those people that you just don't like cooking, you just don't have the time, you know, just whatever the just, just, just is, and you need support with cooking, you know, we have different programs available to you that gonna support you with that. We have the essential meals to go, which we will prepare the food for you. And then if you're one of those people, I really want to learn. I want to know how to do this. Then we also have the um, the culinary program. And then if you're just overall looking for a, just a reboot in your wellness, then we also have our coaching program, okay? Our Healing Me First coaching program. So y'all, it's time to level up. It's time to level up with all of this stuff, right? And you have tools available to you to support you in the leveling up. All right, so I just want you to know that. All right, so what we're gonna do here now is I am going to get, I'm going to get something to put this in. So we'll use this, we'll use this. So I have this here. Hello, hello, greetings, greetings, greetings to those of you who are joining. And so now what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to put some of my porridge inside here, okay? And then I'll show you how we garnish it. 
All right, so we have the porridge going into the bowl. Just a little bit here, it's kind of hot. So here goes our porridge, it's in. And then what I like to do is just hit this with a little bit of the, uh, the nutmeg. So we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of the nutmeg on top. Like so. So we're sprinkling. Like that. And then that's it. That's it. So this is our porridge, y'all. Look at that. It's beautiful. Silky, yummy. And it's just, it's really tasty. Look at that. Yum, yum, yum. All right, y'all. So thanks for tuning in. We made some porridge from Guyana. We call it porridge in Guyana. In Jamaica, we call it bomb. We had a few ingredients, plantain flour, almond flour, uh, banana flour, our various spices, and a little bit of um, coconut and almond milk just to kind of make it nice and luxurious. If you need support, if you need help with your meals, if you also need help with getting your, your food game up, I'll be happy, happy, happy to support you with that. We have a link in the bio that you guys can uh, press so that you can schedule a call if you want to just chat and figure out, you know, you don't know what services you need. You don't know what you want to do, but you know that you need some support. You can go to the link in bio and you can schedule a 30 minute discovery call with me and we can figure out how to support you if you need some support from me. OK, so that's one. Two, if you want to get ongoing updates from me, you can always go to the link in bio and you can also um, subscribe to our newsletter. All right. So if you actually go to the link in bio, we have quite a few things there. But I definitely want you if you have questions, if you're not sure what kind of support you need, you can schedule a 30 minute free discovery call with me. So I really would love for you to do that. And remember, we have our meal prep program essential meals to go we also have our um, cooking program that's starting in june june 16th is actually our, our date that we're going to get started and so if you're one of those people you really want to learn hey what's up how you doing greetings greetings come on you know i'm ready for you and i'm waiting for you okay guys so please take care of yourself wednesday wellness go outside do something wonderful for yourself Make some porridge, <laughs> drink some water, do something lovely for yourself and make sure that you're nourishing yourself from the inside out, okay? And if you have any questions, you know, DM me or just schedule a call with me. I would love to chat with you and find out how we can work together. All right, y'all, enjoy your Wednesday. Peace and blessings.